Linden Pindling International Airport IATA, NAS, ICAO, MYNN, formerly known as Nassau International Airport 1957 is the largest airport in the Bahamas and the largest international gateway into the country. It is a major hub for Bahamas Air, Western Air and Sky Bahamas and is located in western New Providence Island near the capital city of Nassau. History <inaudible> Early years During World War II on 30 December 1942, the airport was named Windsor Field after the Duke of Windsor and became a Royal Air Force station. Windsor Field was the second airport in the Bahamas and was used for delivery flights of U.S.-built fighter and bomber aircraft such as the Boeing B-17 and Consolidated B-24 bombers, and the Curtiss P-40 fighter from the aircraft manufacturers to the North African and European theaters. It was also a base station for Consolidated Liberator I and North American Mitchell Patrol bombers combating the German Navy's U-boat threat. After World War II on 1 June 1946 the RAF withdrew from Windsor Field and it reverted to civilian use. Oaks Field now Thomas Robinson Stadium remained as the main airport in the Bahamas due to its close proximity to downtown Nassau. At the Regional Caribbean Conference of the International Civil Aviation Organization held in Washington in September, 1946, Oaks Field was recommended for designation as a long-range regular airport. Oaks International Airport was kept in operation until midnight, 1 November 1957, when Nassau International Airport at Windsor Field was brought into full operation. The name of the airport was officially changed on 6 July 2006 in honor of the Right Honorable Sir Lyndon Oscar Pindling, the 22nd of March 1929 to the 25th of August 2000, First Prime Minister of Bahamas, 1967 to 1992. Sir Lyndon is recognized as the father of the nation, having led the Bahamas to majority rule in 1967 as well as full independence from the United Kingdom within the British Commonwealth six years later. <laughs> Expansion and renovations With more than 3 million passengers and over 80,000 takeoffs and landings, the airport had reached its capacity by 2011 and its facilities were outdated and insufficient. In 2006, Nassau Airport Development Company NAD entered a 10-year management agreement with YVR Airport Services Limited YVRAS to manage, operate and redevelop the airport. The redevelopment updated the airport facilities to world-class standards and expanded terminal capacity. The work was carried out in three stages. The first stage included the design and construction of a new 247,000 square feet (22,900 square meters) U.S. departures terminal at a cost of $198.1 million. Stage two consisted of the complete renovation of the current U.S. terminal to serve as the new U.S. international arrivals terminal, with a budget of $127.9 million. Stage 3 involved the design and construction of a new 112,000 square feet 10,400 square meters domestic arrivals and departures terminal, as well as an international departures terminal at the location of the existing International Arrivals Hall. This last stage cost $83.5 million. The first stage was completed in March 2011. The $409.5 million invested resulted in 585,000 square feet square meters of terminal space, a 21% increase, as well as the ability to accommodate 50% more passengers. The third and final phase of the project was completed in October 2013. The airport now features 10 jet bridge capable gates. Other features include four gates capable of taking Boeing 747-sized aircraft and one capable of handling the Airbus A380, the world's largest airliner. An additional 1 million square feet of airport operating surface has also been added. There are also 24 new retail outlets and 16 bars and lounges located across sprawling terminal complex. The airport handled 3.2 million passengers in 2008, and it is expected that the expansion will allow for roughly 5.2 million passengers to be processed by 2020, according to NAD. 
The airport contains U.S. border preclearance facilities allowing all U.S. flights to operate as domestic flights upon arrival at their destination. In February 2015, the U.S. Border Preclearance Facility installed 20 Automated Passenger Control self-serve kiosks to improve the efficiency of passenger processing for U.S.-bound travelers. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Passenger. <laughs> 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 Topic Cargo Topic See also List of the busiest airports in the Caribbean